Hi there, this is Baroness Jenny for the Baron's Party Paints, talking about miniatures. Yay! Um, so today, what are we looking at? We are looking at um, Oscar Belmont, a cleric of Bane. Now before everyone starts getting excited there, Oscar Belmont, yes he is from the Belmont family, but I think it's even been pointed out in-game that Richter Belmont has been alive a very long time, had a number of wives and quite a lot of children. Saying that you are of the Belmont line doesn't actually mean all that much. Um, obviously it gives you a little bit of predisposition towards Bane, but we'll talk about that at a later point. Now then, the reason I want to talk about Oscar is because you'll notice he's sort of gunmetal grey again. This is, again, the same technique as I used for Chastity, although I think I've refined it a little bit more on him. It's definitely got a lot more depth to him. I mean, Ooh, when he turns, you can actually see there's like parts where I definitely missed with the silver, but it just makes the... Weirdly, the black is blending with the silver, and it's making it look gunmetal. I love this. Uh, it is, once again, lead belcher put over a uh, coating of Abaddon black. Now, the other thing that made him really difficult was... You'll notice he's got tons and tons of layers, all of which are armour. And of course my husband, because this is Oscar, his favourite cleric to play as in um, our little one-on-one -on -one game, Oscar's got to be perfect and he did say no, none of it is cloth, all of it's armour. As much as you can, it's armour. Thank you dear. Uh, but, what? because I didn't want to just do him all in gunmetal grey, because that would have been so dull to paint, I end up persuading him to let me use a new paint, it's a sort of coppery bronze called Screaming Bell. God, Citadel Miniatures, you get the best names for your paints. So that's what all the bronzy bits on him are. And then there's a lot of red tints as well. That's... I think that's just... Yeah, that's just a coat of Blood for the Blood God. I may have probably layered that. Yeah, looking at that, I've layered it, definitely. Just to... I think Blood for the Blood God looks really shiny, and you can get away with saying it looks like metal or blood. Uh, his trousers, actually, I did do something different for that as well. Um, I didn't like... I didn't want to put too much more dark colours on him, because it would really have washed him out. Um, so actually, for his trousers, all I did was a coat of Reichland Flesh Shade. Or Rakeland Flesh Shade? I think it's Rakeland Flesh Shade, actually, now I'm looking at the pot. Yeah, that's Rakeland Flesh Shade. Right. I am trying desperately to pronounce these things correctly, and I do apologise if I get them wrong. <clears throat> for his skin, that's uh, Cadian Flesh Tone again. It, it's a really good flesh tone. Just If you're doing white people or white creatures, it's just a really good flesh tone. I'm probably going to have to buy up a few more pots of that because I've used so much of it. Uh, his hair is just Avalan Sunset. It's a lovely bright golden colour that's just about not bright enough to be human hair colour. And for his eyes, which... Oh, I'm going to have to go back. I've just noticed there's a bit of a splatter of black on his chin. I'm... I always end up finding bits on these I have to go back and fix. Anyway, his eyes are... Calador Sky. Yeah. And I'm probably pronouncing that wrong as well, but I am doing my absolute best, everyone. Uh, you will notice on his shield as well, that's sort of mostly gunmetal grey, and then there's a stripe down the middle that's impaler. That's what happens if I just do a coat of the silver. And actually, that's a really good one to point out. There is genuinely a difference. I'm not just making it up that, oh no, I've painted it black and then put silver over it. It definitely looks different. It clearly does if you look at his shield. <laughs> um, other than that, there's not a lot to say about him. Um, he is the infamous cleric who uh, decided to go toe to toe with a fire ice giant thing and uh, died twice in that fight. Um, was then saved by aid, which is lovely. But, um, I have been told that I have to mention it was kind of my fault about um, him dying. Which, it wasn't. He ran into the Storm Sphere. I wasn't, I wasn't to know he was going to run into the Storm Sphere, was I? It's not my fault. <clears throat> but, uh, I'm trying to think. He's just... Ooh, ooh. I just noticed I put a, a coating of Rakeland Flesh Shade on the base as well, and that's really picked out all those pebbles and stones underneath him. Ooh, shiny. I get distracted by shiny objects. 
<laughs> um, okay, I don't think there's a lot else for me to say about him, other than he is kind of a major badass. Um, actually, there is one thing. When he um, came back to life for the second time after we defeated this fire ice giant monster thing, he promptly sat up and said, can we do that again? So, I think that tells you everything you need to know about this suicidal badass. <laughs> okay, I will uh, talk to you about more minis at a later date. Okay, bye.